Our next guest from Virtual CES this year brings us an award-winning sustainable solution with a water recycling device for residences, hotels, and lots more. She is the CMO and co-founder of a company called Hydroloop Systems. Sabine Stauffer, Sabine, welcome into tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. How are you? Oh, I'm very well, and thank you for having me. Pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you, especially joining us from the Netherlands. I understand just outside Amsterdam, so we're delighted with technology. We're able to see you and hear you. <laughs> and uh, and tell us about Hydroloop, uh, w about the company, and then let's get into what the product actually is and does. Right. Well, we are the designers and the producers of game-changing, very innovative, decentral water recycling systems. So for anybody watching... You can see them behind me. They look like uh, like a fridge size. And what it is, is a whole uh, water factory, like treatment factory. So on the top part, it is treating the gray water, which is like your bath, your shower, your hand basin, your air conditioning, cooling, all that kind of water. Mm -hmm. That's the water that this system can treat. And afterwards, it cleans it, it purifies it to the very highest standards, like NSF 350 in America. That is like a standard it has to comply with. And then that water is, well, it, you know, it's just clean, clear and safe. And it can be reused again for oh. all the things that you don't need tap water for. So your toilet, your your washing machine, your garden, etc. OK, so this device that, as you mentioned, the size of a refrigerator does all yeah. of this work and then recycles it back for us. It's not uh, potable, right? It's not drinkable then. No. Um, but it is, as you mentioned, for use in all these other uh reasons or, or ways uh, that's truly yeah. a, a nice recycling method it seems yeah well I, I i actually you know 18th of january i read an article uh in forbes magazine i actually have it here and you know it basically is stating as day zero approaches home builders need to prepare and it's actually discussing you know that we really should be recycling our water use our water a lot you know better and use it twice. This is our credo as well. And I believe you are from, you know, the, the Florida uh, area. Miami, yeah. And, you know, Miami, uh, L.A. and Atlanta are three cities that are on the brink of day zero. And that basically this is a, like, I don't want to scare you all, but this is reality, you know, with pollution, with climate change, with population growth, especially urbanization. Wow. Okay. Uh, and I know you have some uh, things to show us as part of a presentation as to how it works, because clearly we have to kind of redo our plumbing, it sounds like, in order to make this work and get this recycled water into the Hydroloop system and then back into the various areas of our home. Yes? Yes, absolutely. So I hope uh, you can see uh, this picture right now. This is an example uh, of a home with a bathroom on the first floor and a shower on the ground floor. Um, so basically, the the water from the bath and the shower will actually, by gravity, flow into the Hydroloop system on the ground floor. The shower on the ground floor will actually have its water pumped with a little sanitary pump into the system because it has to enter from the top parts. And then it is treated. And as I say, it's a clean, clear and safe and certified. And then the water is pumped by a silent pump to the washing machine, both the toilets, and any surplus can go to the garden. And this is actually a setup. And what we're aiming for, Dave, and what is easiest is for all new construction. Now, I believe in, in uh, you know, I believe in the U.S. Uh, I mean, one million residences are built every year. So we are looking, we're really aiming for new construction because, you know, the plumbing has to be done slightly different. Sure. And uh, then, then, then normal because you're not putting it all together. You're black in your gray water, but you're separating the gray. And so basically doing that, um, you know, in, in new construction will cost you a couple of hundred dollars. And then your plumbing is, as we call it, recycle ready. Mm -hmm. And then you can just place a system like ours or a competitors or whatever. Um, it can be done in existing buildings. Uh, but, of course, that depends a bit on the situation. It can be sometimes a bit more complex. But new building is fantastic. Oh, Easy. for sure, where you start from the ground up, literally. And, of yeah. course, I'm reminded yeah. that in Europe, you guys call the first floor what we call the second floor. Uh, so that kind oh, of really? issues me. Yeah. Oh, yes, all the time. Uh, in elevators here in the U.S., you know, uh, floor one is ground floor. And then we go up from there. But we get the idea. Now, we talked about a couple okay. of hundred dollars in additional costs for uh, for plumbing, if you're doing it at original uh, construction, in our remaining yeah. minute or so, what
what are we talking about cost for the Hydroloop system itself? Yeah, well, the system itself, um, we're starting to deliver, by the way, in the second quarter this year. Good. And I have to just check again. That will be, you know, we have to focus. We have demand from all over the world uh, and also in america we have a lot of demand but we will start delivering in the second quarter this year to california nevada arizona texas and florida so those are our you know our key uh, important markets um, the price of the system is four thousand us dollar but that is excluding shipping okay and i cannot say at this moment in time exactly how much that will be of course we're going to do this not one by one we will have hubs in america well, we will deliver, you know, containers with them, and from there on, they will be delivered to people's homes. Sure, and especially if you're ta- if you're dealing with uh, builders, contractors that are hopefully building many homes that will include them, uh, then uh, the costs yeah. can ultimately come down. Obviously, a supply and demand scenario. Uh, congrats, though, you guys won uh, four awards. I understand during CES, <laughs> so you're getting a lot of appropriate attention. I mean, you're on into tomorrow, so there's a big award right there for you, and uh, we're delighted that you were able to join us. More information. You want to visit hydraloop.com and you'll see what Sabine and her team are up to. It's very fascinating. And watch out for day zero. I'm about to run out anyway and and take water from my lake out back at this point. Uh, But we want you to visit hydraloop.com. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us. Stay in touch. We'll get you back on again. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Hydraloop.com and, of course, intotomorrow.com. When you visit us, we'll link you there. You just be a mouse click away. I'm Dave Graveline. We continue our extensive coverage of the virtual CES for 2021 right here on Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.